Hi Sijal here and this time I am with the workshop number 2 in the space claim and the purpose of this workshop is to use the alignment options in a space claim to assemble different parts of a geometry or the model so that we can solve this problem in CFD easily and they should be at their respective positions according to the axis and uh, other coordinate system. So idea is that we have the three parts and these three parts are the centrifugal fan, inlet cone and scroll and these parts you will create and you will learn in the next workshop. But here I am going to explain how you can assemble these parts into a single assembly. And after that, after assembling them using the tangent, align and orient command and also we need the move command. You can assemble these three parts in a single assembly at the required location. Now let me show you that how we can do this thing. Open ANSYS space claim and from the file menu click on open. And we have the three parts, cone, impeller and scroll. So first I will open the impeller part. And I need to set the location at the some appropriate location so that I can set the other parts as reference to the impeller part. So first thing is that I will change the coordinate frame system. So move the anchor on the, on the rear face of the centrifugal fan. And right click on the, the anchor point and click on the enter x, y, z coordinates. They are already at a 0, 0, 0. The next thing is that I want to create a plane. And this plane should be at the location on which I can align the, my model initially. So it gives the option of creating three planes. So I will use the plane which is XY plane because the flow is coming from Z axis and the rotation axis is also around the Z axis. So I will be making the tangent model and I will choose the one face on the geometry and choose the XY plane. Now geometry has been aligned with the XY plane. And Z axis is, is, is going through the center of the whole geometry. And now if you check the move command and place the XYZ system on the rear face of the geometry, you will notice that the, now this is not inclined or at some angle. Now it's very straight and uh, we have the respective X and Y and Z di direction axis. Now it's the time to import the next model. So go to the insert command and click on the file command and choose the cone part and here we have the cone part so again go to design menu and from design menu click on the tangent and choose the face which you want to align with the the reference geometry this is the the required geometry or the target geometry and second face is on the on the reference geometry the reference geometry will not move but the, the target geometry will move to the reference geometry. So now they are tangent and just use the command that it should be of the reverse direction because this is the inlet face from the cone to the impeller. The next command is the align command. So I will be using the, the rotational part which is the cylinder here and also on the impeller the cylindrical surface and now they will be aligned on the one axis because they have, they have already aligned by the tangent command on the same face and after using the align command they are now on the same axis so now they are mating quite well. 